What's going on internet? Jossie Joss here and it is hot. <laughs> it is a Saturday afternoon. I am at home. I'm actually off from work. I actually took the entire weekend for Comic Con but I only am able to go two days uh, just based off of transportation and housing issues. So it's unfortunate but at least I have the entire weekend free so that's kind of nice. Um, but I'm taking the opportunity now to do some filming for unboxing videos. So today I'm actually going to do kind of like a double boxing, double boxing, double unpackaging opening thing. Anyway, uh, two for one. You get, I'm going to open a box and I'm going to unpackage a package. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing the July 2016 Loot Crate box along with the July 2016 Loot Crate Level Up. So it's a Loot Crate day loot crate filled day I decided to get them done uh, back to back uh, just to get them out of the way because my pile of boxes as you can see <laughs> over here uh, are a lot higher than I'd like and I kind of want to get you know, the boxes out of the way because they're taking up space and stuff uh, my family's downstairs basically everybody's home right now but I figured I just get this done and over with so I can post it on the internet and let y'all see so let's get into it July 2016 loot crate I believe the Loot Crate theme this month is futuristic, so stuff from the future, or so they say. We'll see. Alright, first the box. Flip open the box. And this is what we got inside. Uh, it says for more futuristic experience, you can go to lootcrate.com slash experience. I'll put a link in the description below for that, so if you all want a more futuristic experience, you can do that. So first off, it's a Mega Man, and it looks like a mini, is it called mini series, a Mega Man mini? A uh, red and blue side, and uh, different kinds of Mega people, Mega Men, Mega Men characters, uh, that's available, and there's a mystery one, like a chaser or something. So let's open it, let's open it now, if I can get it open, see what's going down. Okay. Sometimes the seals on these are way too, too good <laughs> for your own good. It's like, we don't want you to open the boxes, but we do want you to open the boxes. So, come on. Alright. What did I get? Oh. There we go. Sorry, I always forget these have these little tear things on the side. I got, what is this one? It's like a baby Mega Man. <laughs> it's like an orange one, orange and white one. He's number one of 20 of uh, the set. So that's pretty cool. So is this like a, it's like, I don't know what type of Mega Man this is, what version of Mega Man this is, but that's really, really cool. Um, it's got the Capcom and Kid Robot logos on the bottom. It's got his little blaster on hand on his left hand. That's pretty cool. I'm sure I can find a place for it on my desk somewhere. Nice. All right. So, yep, Mega Man's pretty futuristic. It makes sense. All right. Next item up for grabs. I'm not. Um, it is a Loot Crate exclusive. A Quantum Mechanics Mini Masters vehicle. It is the Planet Express ship from Futurama. That's cool. Like. Planet Express logo and you got all like the cool like design on the outside of the box. Fry and you know, Bender and everybody. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not gonna open it up because I know some people who are really really into uh, um, Futurama that might actually appreciate this more than me. But I like the fact that it's on a stand and it says Planet Express on it. And it's, you know, screen accurate to the cartoon. And they're actually giving shout outs to this cartoon because I think this cartoon is um, underrated. Uh, it, you know, after The Simpsons coming out, uh, Futurama was the other uh, Matt Groening series and it didn't get as much accolades as The Simpsons has. So I feel that Futurama uh, should be recognized a little bit more for how funny it is. All right, cool. Next, we got a Star Trek The Next Generation. It's a Loot Crate exclusive, but I don't know what this is. And it's not like, you know, this almost looks like the little, like, towelette you get at, like, a crab or seafood restaurant or something. But I know it's not that. I mean, is it a print? It feels kind of firm. 
Let's open it up and see what we got. Whoa, whoa. It's a... It looks like it's like a sticker or a badge. It's really shiny, too. It says USS Enterprise Galaxy Class uh, Starfleet Registry Utopia Planet Ship Fleet Mars. First, fifth starship to bear the name. Launch start date something, something, something. Oh, all right, cool. Um, it looks like Star Trek, the night, um, well, old school Star Trek show is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Um, I don't know if this is a shout out to this because this is actually from the Next Generation, so that's the other show with us. Uh, Patrick Stewart and stuff. Um, someone tell me what this is. Is this off in the ship or something like a plaque like on the side? Let me know. All right, next, next, next. Comic. 4000 AD. It's a variant cover number one. I don't know what this is from. Uh, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, so that's cool. But I don't know what this is from. So if you guys know what this is from, tell me. Let me know. It looks cool. Like. It looks really strong. He's got this really, like, an Iron Man-esque type outfit. Is it a Marvel comic? No, I don't think so. I don't see the Marvel logo on it, but it kind of has, like, this Iron Man-esque type hand, and he's with a cool little sword. So, uh, it just looks cool. I, I have no idea what that is, though. So, mm. Um, and then the shirt. Last one is the shirt. Oh, and the pin, of course. There's always a loop pin. Shirt. It's a, kind of a baby blue color, and I believe... This is from Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty shirt. I don't watch the show. I know of it. I've heard of it. Uh, people have told me it's pretty funny. I just, it's one of those things that I just never got into or never really uh, got to see. Um, but I like the color of the shirt. I'm always a fan of like kind of like alternative color shirts that are not just black or gray. Even though I'm wearing a gray shirt today, it was just easier for me to get dressed today that way. But you know, when we get these shirts in, in these boxes, black. T shirts tend to take over, so um, I like this design. It just you know, has like this, I don't even know, like this looks like a gun <laughs> or a laser or something. Just very, very scientific, very futuristic, which fits the theme. So that's awesome. And then, of course, the loot pin, which is amazing because it is Star Trek themed. Um, so it's talking about uh, Star Trek Online. And then it says, Loot Pins, to July 2016 Futuristic. And so that's pretty cool. The fact that it's the Live Long and Prosper, very classic uh, for Star Trek. All right, now the booklet, Futuristic. All right, so let's see what everybody got. Oh, apparently the box, if you fold it out, makes like some kind of cool little like platform, like a, like a landing station for a, a spaceship. So that's cool. I'm not gonna do that, I'm um, sorry. Just too much time. All right, so everyone got the Rick and Morty t-shirt. So that's what it looks like right there. And there's a little article about Rick and Morty here. Um, everyone got the Futurama Planet Express ship model from Quantum Mechanics. Um, okay, so it's a dedication plaque. That's the USS Enterprise thing. And it's a replica decal that was actually in the show. Oh, it says, Note, it will not actually turn your things into the Enterprise, so I can't put that on my car and then all of a sudden get a spaceship or something, so. Dang. But it's okay. So, um, and then the pin, of course, it says, One of the most famous sayings and salutes in pop culture. It's a fitting pin for any de de uh, decade. And it says, loot long and prosper, so that's a really cute play on words with that. And then there's a cool article inside of the magazine that talks about the ranking of the captains of, uh, the Starship Enterprise, and number one is Jean-Luc Picard, uh, two is uh, James T. Kirk, three is Catherine Janeway, four is Benjamin Sisko, and five is Jonathan Archer. Um, of course, Jean-Luc Picard is from Gener um, Next Generation, James Kirk is from the original series, uh, Janeway is from Voyager, Sisko is from Deep Space Nine, and uh, Jonathan Archer is from Enterprise, like the prequel, or not the prequel, I don't even know if that's a prequel to the original series, but that series. So, so, let me see if I can do my, uh, my brain hurts, I can't think, but that's cool. Um, I would agree also that Jean-Luc Picard is probably the best captain of the, the group, so, yay. Yeah. Um, and also, the, um, the pin was advertising something called Star Trek Online, and I'm guessing it's an online game. Yeah, it's a free-to-play online game, and you can p 
play as different uh, characters. So it says you can uh, commandeer a Federation starship, you can build a Klingon warrior, uh, or you can rebuild the Romulan legacy. So that's really cool. And yeah, so um, that's an interesting thing that they're releasing um, with the whole 50th anniversary of Star Trek kind of coming out, kind of bringing this resurgence of uh, fandom uh, to the Star Trek uh, franchise. So that's cool. Um, there's ads for the other boxes that they have. They have a Halo box now and the Loot Crate DX box. Um, there's a coloring book page uh, in the middle of it for Rick and Morty, sponsored by Adult Swim. Oh, oh no, no drop on the ground. Um, then there's the, oh, the Mega Man red variant. So I guess everyone got a different color or the red variant. I guess he looks more orange to me, but in this booklet he says he's red. Um, so that's really cool. And then is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Oh, in the comic it says it is a number one Valiant comic. Um, I don't know what character this is, but that's the variant cover of it. And I guess the original cover was something else. I can't, I don't know, but tell me what this is. I don't, I've never heard of this character or this comic or series before. So if you guys know what it is, that sounds fun. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, that is all that's in the uh, Loot Crate uh, box this month, the futuristic box. Um, pretty cool. I'm you know, uh, not 100% into everything that's in this box, but I appreciate it. Uh, due to the nostalgic factor, especially with the Star Trek and the Futurama stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice. I like it. I mean, what can I say? I mean, it's cool. And I'm sure uh, other people will appreciate it too. So, all right. That was all for the Loot Crate box. Now, we move on to the next chapter of this video, which is the Loot Crate Level Up. Ooh. Loot Crate Level Up is usually the wearables, and I have the wear, I'm subscribed, excuse me, to the wearable and the socks. It's a combo that you can get online um, if you go there. So you're not just getting an individual, like, just the socks or just the shirt or just the whatever. Um, level Up is broken up into socks, shirts, wearables, and they used to call it the accessories, but then they realized the accessories tended to lean towards females, so now they call it Loot for Her. Um, I am not subscribed to those, and I am not subscribed to the t-shirt. So I'm just the wearables and the socks. So. And they share the same theme of futuristic, just like the box. So first off, I'm gonna grab socks. There should be two pairs in here, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's the booklet. I don't want the booklet yet. All right, first one, Rick and Morty socks. <laughs> They're navy blue. Um, like I said earlier, I don't, I never watched Rick and Morty, so I don't know what they are. Um, they don't. They, they don't say they're specifically Loot Crate exclusive, but it, it does have the Adult Swim badge on the back, and they're by HYP New York or Hip or Hypnotic or something, whatever. Um, comfortable socks. They're soft. That's always a good thing. Next pair of socks. They are oh nice. Um, I think I'd probably wear these more. Mega Man socks, Loot Crate exclusive from Bio World. They are complete. 100% print all around. You got Mega Man on there with a bunch of other characters. That's pretty cool. And like I said, it's a Loot Crate exclusive sock, and it's a you know it's full screen print all over the sock. So you got basically Mega Man characters all up and down your thigh or not thigh, your calf <laughs> and your legs. That's pretty cool, and they're pretty soft as well. So that's cool. Awesome, 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 awesome. And now the wearable. It feels thick. Oh, it's a it's like a hoodie. Ooh. Not right now. It's like 90 98 degrees or something right now, but I can totally wear this during the winter time. It is a oh it's a short sleeve hoodie. What is it is a Futurama short sleeve hoodie. Is there anything else on it? Oh, it's so subtle, I love it. Okay, so it's kinda hard to see, but it's a short sleeve hoodie shirt thing it's got a hood on it so I'm gonna flap that over and then if I get closer to the camera you will see that there are Futurama drawings on there so you can see kind of see Leela there Fry um, I can't tell other people from the show I'm like blanking I'm so sorry about that um, the Futurama logo and the ship bender uh, that's 
really cool. Uh, this is <laughs> this is probably one of the mm, the best items I've received from the Level Up series um, since I've been subscribed to it. So uh, that is really cool. Uh, it's very soft. I mean, the fact that it's a black shirt and it's the middle of July, right? Or the end of July almost, but uh, it's kind of hot. I don't know if I can wear this right away, but the, it's a it's short sleeve with a hood. That's amazing. With the weather that Southern California tends to have year round, you don't know when you're going to need a short sleeve or when you're going to need a hood. If the randomly rains or if it decides to just not be cold <laughs> and the weather just changes on you. So this is a very... Uh, you know, a um, practical item, again, with me in the practical items, uh, that I can use year-round, and so that's amazing. Um, so, yeah. All right, booklet time. Futuristic for Level Up. So let's see what the other people got. Oh, they're still doing this folded thingy? I really don't like this. Loot Crate, I don't like the foldy map weirdness. I mean, it made sense that one time, because it was a map. Now it's just annoying. Booklets, please. I like staples, so. All right, so it's the futuristic collection. Let's see what everybody got. Is there a description of what everybody got without me having to open up everything? Of course not, I have to open up everything. All right, so the socks, everyone got the Mega Man, uh, is it blaster gun socks, and then the Rick and Morty socks. The Rick and Morty socks were called G's Rick Crew socks. Everyone got that. And then everyone got the wearable, which is the Futurama uh, short sleeve hoodie. So that's really, really awesome. I, I person, that's like amazing. <laughs> and so the other ones that I am not subscribed to, this is what they got. So they got in for loot t-shirts, they got an exclusive Voltron shirt. So that's pretty cool with the lion face in the front. And it's purple. That's a purple shirt, y'all. I don't see purple often. And then the loot for her, it's a racerback tank top and it's Bioshock and it looks like it's like the, almost looks like Cthulhu talking to somebody up there. So, uh, lots of shirts this this month for the wearables. So that's pretty interesting um, for the for the level up anyway. Uh, but yeah, that is all for the 2016 July Loot Crate level up um, of all of both the box. For okay, so my favorite item in the box probably the shirt. I like the design of it. I like the color. It was that baby blue color um, and the green. It's just a just a nice colored shirt to wear. Not necessarily because it's Rick and Morty or anything like that, but just the fact that it was a cute design. What is that noise? Sorry, my neighbors are doing something over there and I have no idea. It's been scaring my dogs all day. All right, moving on. Um, for the Loot Crate level up, clearly my favorite item is the wearable, the sleeveless hoodie, or the sleeveless, the, sh the uh, short sleeve hoodie um, for Futurama. Uh, it's it's subtle. I mean, I'm a fan of Futurama, but like I said, I'm not a hundred percent like huge ginormous fan of it. I appreciate it though, um, but I also I don't need to wear it like you know wearing you know Fry's face on my shirt or something. So um, the fact that it's very subtle, I can wear this with a lot of different like types of clothing. I can wear it with shorts, with jeans, um, anything. That's it's it's uh, ad um, adaptable. That was the word I'm looking for. So. Uh, that was pretty cool. So nice job Loot Crate this month on the futuristic theme. Um, that is all. If you are interested in a either the Loot Crate or the Loot Crate Level Up, I will go ahead and put links to those in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And that guy's getting really loud. It's kind of annoying. We have the back door open because it's hot and so I'm trying to let air ventilate. But because of that, that guy's being really, really loud. So I apologize for the sound in the background. I have my Spotify running music, but I don't think it's loud enough. So, anywho. Uh, but that is all for me. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, stay tuned. I have a bunch of more, bunch of more. I have a bunch more boxes that I need to open up, and hopefully I'll get those up before the end of the month. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.